Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and we're going to be showing you how to reinstall Windows if your computer breaks. First thing you need to do is figure out whether your computer is 64-bit or 32-bit. You can find this in the system properties in settings or control panel. Now, once you have that figured out, what you need to do is create some Windows 10 media like this. I'll do a separate video on that in the future because I don't have much time and we need to get this video done. So. What you're going to want to do is make sure your computer is plugged in, obviously, so it doesn't die. And then you're going to need to plug in your Windows 10 Media into a working USB port and connect your computer to the internet, just like that. And then what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to figure out which button on your keyboard is your boot menu key. To get into your boot menu, you just select the drive to boot off. So, for example, on this computer, it's Apple Lab. Different on every computer, you just have to look it up on the internet. So, now what you're going to want to do, you're going to push the power button, and as soon as you push it, spam the boot menu key. And you'll see that the boot menu will come up like that. And then you're going to want to select your drive, for example, mine is SanDisk. So, we're going to select it. And since this is a 64-bit computer, we're going to do Windows 10 setup 64-bit. So, once that's done, it's going to load files. Sorry, the camera went out. It's going to load files. Most computers, this won't take long, but I'm not sure how long it's going to take on this one. So, I'll just pause the video, and then I'll come back when this is done. Okay, guys. Once you see this screen, that means you're good to go. Now, you're going to want to select your language preferences and your keyboard layout. For me, everything's fine, so we're just going to click next. And then you're going to want, if you if you don't need to reinstall Windows and you just need to repair, click repair your computer. But for this example, we're going to be installing Windows on a blank hard drive. So click install. And it says down there, setup is starting. Wait for that to complete. This shouldn't take too long since the drive I have Windows 10 Media on is pretty quick. So, you obviously need a product key, but for this example, I'm just going to click I don't have a product key. And then we're going to do Windows 10 Pro. Okay, and now license terms, we're going to click accept. Read through those if you want. I don't. And then click. I'm going to click custom because I have other stuff on here. And I'm going to delete all these partitions. Most of the time you won't have to do this. But I am just for this video. Okay, drive zero and I have okay space. You're going to click next. Right, it's going to copy Windows files and get everything done. I'll come, I'll come back when that is finished. Okay guys, once that process is finished, the computer may restart once or twice. And then after about 30 minutes or so, you'll come to this screen. On some older computers, it may take up to an hour or even two hours. That just depends on your hard drive speed, uh, processor speed, depends on a lot of things. But it'll ask you what region. For me, United States is good. We're going to do US keyboard layout. And if it asks you, do you want to add a keyboard layout? If you want to add one, you click add layout, but I usually do skip because I only use my keyboard layout. Now, I have this one connected to ethernet, so it shouldn't, it shouldn't ask for Wi-Fi. If it does, that's fine, we can punch in our network. video and I'll be back when it's done. Okay everybody, we're back. Um, so this one, how would you like to set up this computer, personal use or organization? Since we will not be using, um, since we're not going to be connecting to a domain or anything, we're just going to set up for personal use. And then we're going to click next. 
and then it's going to ask you for a Microsoft account for this. I'm not going to put my Microsoft account on this, so I'm going to click offline account. We're going to do a limited experience. We're going to punch in our name. Don't put my name unless your name is my name. Um, put in your own name. So we're going to put in my name, password, 1234. One, there we go. I'm going to type in 1234. There we go. 1234. Super secure password. Uh, we have to do this. Um, Alright, we are. Okay, um, there we go. My trackpad wasn't working for. For some reason, I'm going to put in your, and um, we're just gonna do, uh, we're gonna do, um, fake questions because for some reason this is required. Um, childhood nickname, uh, kid, that wasn't actually my nickname, but whatever. I'm doing this for a video, and the screen just cut out. Probably means it's doing graphics drivers. Yeah, graphics drivers. If your screen flashes like that and it's already connected to the internet, it's probably doing drivers. Mm. Name of the first school, we're gonna click. Um, no good. Uh, because I know I put three uh, O's there, I don't care because school, I hate it, I don't like it, I absolutely despise it. Anyways, back to this. Alright, we're just going to leave this the default because I don't feel like changing it. Alright, we're just going to click skip. You can choose your options there. No, we don't want to set up Cortana. You can if you want, I don't need it. Um, Alright, uh, once set up complete, it's going to do its thing right here. And I'm going to pause when this is done. Or, I'm going to pause the recording and come back when this is done. Okay guys, once that process is finished, you have successfully reinstalled Windows 10. Now for the best experience, what you're going to want to do is, well, wait for the thing to respond. Um, which for some reason it's not doing, there we go. Uh, start menu. Here it is. For the best experience, you're going to want to go to settings and check for Windows updates. If there are any, install all of them, and make sure your device is activated. Um, I'm pretty sure this one is activated because I don't see the activate windows watermark. Some computers, if you're reinstalling windows, even though they ask for a product key, uh, will have a what they call a BIOS OEM key, which means the product key for whatever version of windows came on it from the factory, the product key is stored in BIOS. And your installation will automatically grab that key and attempt to activate it. If it's valid, it will successfully activate. If it's a cracked key or a pirated key, it will um, detect that and not activate. So you need to make sure you have a legal product key for your device and a valid one. We're going to go to Update and Security. And then check for updates, and obviously the first thing it does is ask for Windows 11, which this computer um, probably does not meet the minimum requirements at all for Windows 11. Um, but you're going to want to check for updates, even though it, it said no updates are available. That's just because it is never checked, and you need to check for updates, and you may have to restart your device a few times for this. Um, once all the updates pop up, you're going to install all of them, uh, even driver updates. See, I, I have a bunch of updates, but we're not going to go um, into detail with these. Now, if it says feature update to Windows 10 version 22H2, you're going to want to do that too. If you want version 22H2, I'm going to go ahead and install it on this because I'll have this as a backup computer. And 
as you can see, all these updates are installing. And for driver updates, what you're going to want to do, you're going to go to advanced options. And then click receive updates for other Microsoft products when you update Windows. And then I always like to do show a notification when there's a restart required. I always like to do that. And then um, I always like to do download updates over metered connections. In case I'm ever connected to a metered network, I always want my computer up to date. So I get those. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to optional updates and this should bring up driver updates. And as you can see, we have a ton. So we're gonna go ahead and select every single one of them. We have a lot of updates for this computer. And you're gonna select all of them and then download and install. And once that loads up, you are done. Uh, just restart when it wants you to. Um, if you postpone it too long, it will restart uh, forcefully without your knowledge. It will it will not care what it's doing, what you're doing, and it will restart on its own. I don't know why Windows does that, but it just does. It's never happened to me because I keep my computer up to date and restart it when I need to. So that basically completes this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And just a little sort of, uh, sort of, uh, channel announcement, uh, the Ultimate Windows XP Computer Part 2 has unfortunately been cancelled. Um, the reasoning is that I really do not feel like filming and editing such a long video uh, because editing the first part was hard enough and it just, I don't feel like moving my whole setup over to a different part of my room to film it. So that's um, the announcement. The new character is this laptop. It's my new backup computer. Um, Windows 10 will be installed on it for like if my main computer is either temporarily broken, at a repair shop, or any number of reasons I need a backup. Who knows? We may even do another video of this. If you want that, please put it in the community posts. I am checking that every day. I do check that every day, and I will, I will try to do more gaming videos in the future. So if you like this kind of content, tell me. Put it in the comments. I need to know. I need to get feedback. I'm running out of ideas. Please, guys, put your ideas in the comments or the community tab, whatever. Just put your ideas. Bye, guys.